Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing my May favourites and yes, I am in Anna's bedroom. Sorry, that's really confusing. I have a lot of makeup favourites this month for some reason, but I'm going to start with nails and these two nail polishes are from Revlon's um, Parfumery range, I think it's called. And I didn't think I was going to like this at all. I thought it was completely gimmicky. It's basically nail polish that has a scent to it. But I've fallen in love with these two shades. This one is Ginger Melon, which is a nice kind of bright summery pink. And this one is Apricot Nectar, which is a soft peachy apricot shade. And I absolutely love these. I just absolutely love the shades. But also they smell really nice and it lasts a really long time, like I'd say four to five days and you can just smell the fruitiness even with a thick top coat on top. So it's actually really nice. I didn't really think I would notice but I kept thinking, mm, what's that smell? It's really nice and it was my nail polish. So I'd really recommend these two shades from the range but they have so many different shades so definitely worth checking out. Keeping on line with the drugstore thing, I've also been loving the Bourjois Rouge Edition Velvet and I was wearing this one, Pink Pong, in my lipstick product addict tag and I really enjoyed wearing both of these. This red one is called 03, does it have a name? Hot Pepper and um, I really like both of these. They're very matte and long lasting, easy to apply, they don't kind of dry out. Um, they, they're quite hard to remove, you need like an oily makeup remover to get them off but that's good, that just means they're going to last throughout the whole evening. These are the perfect drugstore alternative for the hourglass lip lacquers. For skincare I've been majorly getting back into the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair and this is the new one that they reformulated so it's called the Com Synchronized Recovery Complex 2 and this is like the giant bottle. I forgot how much I loved this because I ran out but I got a new one and I've been using this every evening so after I cleanse or put any masks on I put the serum on before my moisturiser and it just makes my skin feel so moisturised and nourished and it's just completely like cleared up my skin. It kind of does everything. I just absolutely love the stuff. It feels really nice on the skin as well. It doesn't go sticky at all. I mentioned this lip balm in my lip product addict tag, which if you haven't seen, I will link it below. I can't pronounce it. You all made fun of the way I tried to say it. It's German. It looks like this and I just love this. I've already spoken about it before, but it's definitely had to be included in my monthly favourites because I've been using it every day. For blusher, I've been obsessed with the Clinique cheek pops. I think these are so nice. Again, I thought they were a bit gimmicky because the packaging, they look like like little kind of flowers and I thought oh these are going to be like average cream blushes but they're actually really amazing. This shade is Berry Pop and then this one which is more peachy is called Peach Pop and I like these because they're kind of a cream formula but you can apply them with a brush and they're really long lasting. Like they're really pigmented, it's so hard to explain, you just need a tiny bit on your brush and I find they last all day, even if you put a tiny amount on. I always feel like it's normally the stronger blushes that last, but this can be subtle and long lasting at the same time. I think they're really nice, they have a really nice selection of shades and these are the two that I've been wearing the most this month. Now I talk about the By Terry Ombre Black Star a lot, um, I have it in Brown Perfection and I always talk about this one, it's just a great cream eyeshadow. But this month I've also been loving Misty Rock, which is actually one that I was recommended to me by Tanya Burr. She uses this all over her lid and then uses MAC Hoax, I think it's called, in the crease. And I didn't have either of these and I, the combination looked amazing in some of her videos. So I went out to buy them and I really like them. Whenever I swatched Misty Rock before on my hand, it always looked a little bit too pink and glittery for me. But when it's on the lid, it's kind of like MAC All That Glitters, but in a cream form and it's so, so pretty. And then a hoax is like a really nice kind of muted down plum and this really kind of suits my complexion. I've been using this all over the lid as well some days. I'm really glad. I can't believe I didn't even have this and I hadn't, didn't even really know about it. So these together I've been loving and just the By Terry Ombre Black Stars in general are still favourites of mine. Also for eyes I've been loving Urban Decay Hustle Eyeliner. I know I always talk about the Makeup Forever eyeliner in 2L which is a really lovely brown but you can't really get makeup forever in the UK as easily so I've been loving using this because I didn't want to finish my makeup forever one and this is actually really similar I think the Urban Decay 24 7 eyeliners are so long lasting they don't budge at all all day and they go on really nice and creamy so you don't have to like drag your eyelid um, and Hustle is just a really nice kind of easy brown shade. I talked about this foundation in my beauty chat with Anna, which I will also link below if you haven't seen it, but I've been wearing this every single day this month. It's the RMK Creamy Foundation. I hate that it comes in a pot, but the formula is just so amazing. You hardly need any product and it blends beautifully over the skin. It's kind of full coverage, but not at all cakey. I'm wearing it today. I just feel like it gives really kind of flawless, blurred out skin. 
Um, I really like this, it's just really enjoyable to use. I use my Real Techniques buffing brush to buff it in, or my new Sephora brush, which I will talk about in my Sephora haul coming up. And I think it's a really great foundation, definitely worth trying. So my last favourite is a random one, and it's actually the Vampire Diaries. I have majorly been getting into the Vampire Diaries. I've been watching it on Netflix. I feel like when you watch things on Netflix and you're not watching it live on TV, it's like I become so obsessed. I watch like nine episodes in a row every night. It's just ridiculous. I can't remember where I'm up to. I think I might be on like season two or something like that. I don't know because it just kind of goes on the iPad. But I've become obsessed with it. I was really into Twilight. I read all the books and stuff. It's weird because I don't think of myself as like a vampire kind of film person. But I absolutely have been loving The Vampire Diaries. I'm obsessed with Damon. He has stolen my heart and compelled me to love him. So those have been my May favourites. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the products that I've been loving this month. Comment below and let me know if we share any favourites or what your favourites been this month. Check back on Tuesday for a Sephora haul. I made a sneaky purchase. And thanks so much for watching. Bye!